Hi, I'm Dan from Layer Glares, and today I'm doing a series review of Parasite, written by Hitashi Iwiki, or Awaki, I think it's pronounced. So, uh, Parasite is basically a manga, as you can see, it's it's read the other way, instead of uh, how we normally read them over here. The story uh, focuses on a character named uh, Shinchi, who one day, while he was sleeping, uh, alien parasite got into his right arm, and he basically decided to, you know, uh, he, well, he didn't cut it off, I guess, like, you know, he, like, tied it off so that way it didn't infect his entire body, and, uh, it's only in his right hand. So his right hand ends up having the ability to transform into different things, uh, and turn to, like, different abilities and also has a mouth and an eye that he ends up talking to basically parasite is a supernatural horror uh and i will warn you if you are afraid of body horror then you might not want to read this but if you're okay with body horror then the thing is uh you're gonna be fine with the series so shinji basically ends up finding out that other parasites have taken over other uh hosts his uh parasite is known as minji which, if I read somewhere that the Japanese translation for that means righty, but for the sake of this review, I'm just going to call it uh, Minji, which is how it's pronounced in the, the manga. <clears throat> so basically, he ends up using Minji, uh, his right arm parasite, to take out other parasites that have taken other human hosts. The one thing about like about this is that the human hosts also have the ability to completely shapeshift their entire bodies, and are very difficult to to kill. Uh, they can be killed by regular means, but since the fact that they're so fast and their bodies are able to shift and change, it's hard to get a good hit on them. Uh, we've seen it where people use guns, people have used acid before. There's one that got hit with acid and his basically his reflexes just snapped. Like they attack anything that, that's basically moving is how they uh, act. What I do like is that the parasites that uh affect humans aren't exactly evil so to say they're not inherently evil they're not there to be evil and cause problems on uh earth it's just the thing is they are very hostile and they tend to enjoy eating meat and what are humans made out of meat so it's basically what they're here for, and the thing is, they're just acting based on their own instincts. Uh, and if a person who gets infected with these things, basically become mindless. So, as I mentioned, it follows Shinchi uh, in his time of high school, and follows throughout his life. A uh, bunch of strange murders have been going on in his town, and uh, eventually, when he discovers that his right hand is acting weird, and then starts talking to him, he decides to start using it to actually end these murders, which are caused by people possessed by alien parasites. The series mostly focuses on him and basically things about that and like we end up learning the thing is that he's able to regenerate his body at a faster rate than that of a regular human. Uh, and I will say this series does not pull its punches. There, like if, if you start seeing a character that you didn't start seeing before and they have start more having screen time, chances are they're gonna die or become infected by a parasite. So, be warned of that when you read this series. Uh, as I mentioned, it's incredibly gory with uh, body horror. So, as I mentioned, if you're offended by that stuff, don't read the series. If you're okay with that, definitely read it. Uh, I would definitely say the thing is, uh, if you are able to get the volumes, definitely do that. Uh, this is volume number 8. I do have the other 7. I decided to bring them with me, though. Uh... I would say definitely read this series. It's really good. And the whole sci fi horror thing of it, of like just the way these creatures work and the way that we're able to use them to our advantage if you are infected, uh, is just amazing. Uh, I'm a big fan of body horror. And the thing is, like, honestly, the thing is, like, it's very hard to do correct. This actually does it pretty well. And I will admit, there are were, there were parts that kind of terrified me. So if you want a good scare and you like manga, definitely check out Parasite. 
And also, uh, there is an anime adaptation called Parasite the Maximum. I would suggest to check that out as well. It's very faithful to the manga, although there are some uh, changes here and there. So be wary of that if, uh, if you're really concerned about adaptation. But I would say definitely read the manga and then check out the anime in that order, kind of the way I did. It, it's, they're both really good and I suggest watching them, uh, both watching and reading uh, Parasite. Yeah, definitely uh, check it out. Uh, until next time, keep reading.